In the age of the tech startup, in the age of everybody leveraging social media to create their own business and be their own boss, I did it. I created a, a personal training company called E3 Fitness. It was one-on-one -on -one PT, it was group PT, it was corporate PT, indoor, outdoor, you get it, right? Personal training company, leveraging social media, and really not much else, corporate backing or anything like that, and I failed. Two years to the day, I shut the doors of E3 Fitness. It was around for about a year and a half, 15 months to be precise. This video is kind of just lessons from trying and failing my own business and kind of a bit of personal reflection as well because I guess when you create your own business and you create your own company, everything about the company was me. It wasn't me and somebody else. It wasn't me in collaboration with anybody else. It was me and only me. So the branding, the logo, the color choice, every single session, every single choice within the business was me. And that's not a bad thing. It's just when you fail, the mirror's right there. The reason why it failed is looking you in your eye. And as much as I had tremendous learning from that experience, and a lot of those learnings I'm carrying on today, I'm able to articulate today, they've helped me a lot going forward. At the time, and when I reflect back even now on E3 Fitness and that guy who created E3 Fitness, me, I look at it as a failure. It's a tough pill to swallow. At the core of it, you know, all the fluff, all the nice lessons, all the learnings, that's all good. But when I look back on it, I, I see failure. And it took me a long time to actually be able to articulate it. it. Took me a long time to actually realize it. And now it's taken me even longer time to actually start looking at the positives from that experience. So what were the positives? Look at the moment, two years out, the positives that I do see are quite significant. Um, and the biggest positive that I see from myself during that time was spirit. The spirit to bootstrap it, the enthusiasm, the drive, the want, the desire to get that thing going, to get that off the ground is something that I can look back on and go, well done. Finally, after two years, I can finally look back on myself and give myself some sort of pat on the back for that experience. And that, I guess, a bit of a, a turning point for me to finally see some sort of success from myself and from that journey and, and to be able to pat myself on the back in some sort of way. Other than that, I, I guess there's not too much of a real point as there normally are to these types of videos, but I'm very interested to, to hear other people's thoughts, opinions, if anyone has any questions about starting their own business, especially young people and how exactly those logistics work. I might not be the right guy to get you to the mountaintop based sort of experience, but I, I will be able to give you some pointers on, you know, what you actually do need to start something like this. You need spirit, you need that spirit, you need that grit and determination. Once you've got that spirit, you need to plug the holes that you don't have, so the skills that you don't possess, either by educating yourself, reading, learning, or by bringing in people and collaborating with others to plug those holes. Any questions, any thoughts, any comments that you have, I'd love to hear them. Feel free to drop me a message and I'm more than happy to have a chat.